welcome to the new Biathlon season 2012-2013. Uh, as kind of tradition, we start again in Estersund, in Sweden. Coming out from the start gate in Estersund, the large, long stadium. And at the end of the stadium, we go right. Only two kilometer course goes straight, but we go on the first short uphill. So I'm already on the top, just a few push, I can get some breath, just a little careful on the corner, because the snow is hard enough, but in some places a little icy. The course still go a little bit up. Up to the next crossing. So the first few hundred meters, nothing special really. But uh, the athletes like it because it's not so steep in the beginning. A little downhill, a little rest. And now come the first steep part on the course. Here this is getting uh, a little bit more serious now and in front of me a very steep part. No speed at all. But after this part we are coming to the longest downhill. Okay, I'm on the top and here in this part I'm getting ready for the longest downhill. The course changed from last year. On the bottom we are turning grind a little bit sooner than in the last season. I'm getting speed, left turn. And again, so this was the fastest downhill in the whole course. And uh, the new version is much better than the last one. It's really no danger in the corner, although the velocity is quite high. We are still going up. It's quite demanding uphill. Because this one will not end with a downhill. So you cannot rest. So the first peak. But as I said, no rest. You have to work 
push again. And then we are going left on the downhill on four kilometers. It's actually easy downhill. With a little turns. But you can rest. You can use uh, the whole width of the course in every turn, which makes the skiing easier. I am now on the lowest point on the course. Uh, and now it's about 50 meters high difference to go on the top. Actually, the four kilometer goes from the lowest point straight to the highest point. This first 200 meters is not steep, but uh, the athletes will be in danger that they don't, though, that they don't, as we said, fall asleep. You have to push hard. The conditions are okay, so there is no excuse for bad skiing in this part. And now I'm. Uh, entering the most demanding part on the course. Very steep beginning. Ah, it's still very steep. And the last part. But it's still really, really hard. Here's the main split time position. At least get information out there on the course here from the coaches. There's more and I'm on the top. I'm on the highest point in the course. It goes right from the bottom, only up for uh, 500 meters almost. Very steep at the end. So uh, if you can imagine five times for the individual race, it's a lot. And on this part, 
a lot of uh, decisions will be in the main individual and also some others. And uh, it's quite important that you still have strong legs because right after this top is uh, quite uh, difficult downhill and you have to have a really good uh, still also concentration not to fail. Okay, let's go. Okay. <laughs> I will push. So we'll try to have a feeling. Ah, very sharp left. Right on the edge. Okay. So we're out. Nice little uphill. But you have to work strong. This is actually no problem. Okay, I'm very close to the stadium now. We have a, another very much needed downhill for a small recovery. And around. So I'm already on the last serious uphill under the Artura Tower. One hundred eighty degrees right. And direction stadium. Down here, you have good skis, you will come almost on top. Just a few push, and the so called kids will turn. And I can rest. In direction shooting range. I'm 100 meters before finish, which is straight, but I'm going to the shooting range. The approach to the shooting range is, I should say, by the book. First a little downhill, then flat area to remain strength in your legs to prevent shaking on the shooting mat. Last turn. And I'm on the shooting range. Wait a moment, I must find my knife. <laughs>